Kia ora, Helen Brahms here coming to you live from Sparkles, still in Escondido in California, having a fabulous day. Hope you guys are having a super fantastic sparkling day. And tonight I want to talk to you because I've had um, this question come up a lot lately in how do you tell the difference between a travel professional and a travel agent? Is there a difference or is it just in the title? Um, there is actually a huge difference. Um, some people will turn around and say that they are a... Um, travel professional when you get down to the nitty-gritty you find out they're not actually a travel professional But they're actually an agent um, a travel agent is somebody who will go ahead and just book what you want to book They can access your profile. They've got your profile in their computer system. They bring it up. They see what trips you did last time um, they um, Focus on the transaction. What is what gives them the, the highest commission on the things? Um, they're more interested in um what's in it for them rather than what's in it for the client. A professional, on the other hand, is more concerned about their client. Their client actually becomes a friend and becomes a referral partner for them. Um, they get to know their clients on a personal level. We get to know their interests, what they like, what they dislike, who they've, who they've traveled with before, who they haven't traveled with before, and what they liked or liked about the different um, cruise lines that they've used, different tour companies that they've used, and they get to know those tour companies as well. Um, they get to know the vendors that we use, and they think of themselves as part of a team. When you um, hear people in business talking about me and I and um, that sort of thing being in business for themselves, you think of them as small, and that's a travel agent. They think of themselves in the eyes and the me's, whereas a travel professional knows that there is a team of people that helps them. They are part of a team. And you will always hear them referring to themselves in the we and the our. Um, we develop our relationships with our vendors. Our vendors are just as important to us as our clients are because if we don't have those relationships with our vendors, then we can't serve you the best. We can't get you the best, um, we're sorry, we can't customize the trip to be the best trip that you want it to be. We take more interest in what is best for you as the client rather than what's best for us on the on the pay end. As travel professionals, we do get paid, we do um, charge fees. So that is one thing that you need, do need to be aware of is that most travel professionals will charge fees because after all, they are professional. They treat their business as a business. Um, after all, you don't go to a lawyer or a doctor or a dentist or you get a plumber over anything and they don't, don't come in and do it for free. They come in, they expect to be paid. It's the same with a travel professional. We're taking that time to make sure that we get the right vacation for you the right trip for you to give you the behind the scenes type of things as well we don't just book you a cruise we book you a cruise experience we don't just book you a tour we book you a tour experience we're always looking what value can we add to our clients um to their trip to make it more memorable for them because after all you are investing a lot of money in your trip get, get real you know a cruise is not a cheap thing um tours are not cheap um, this is a major investment that you are that you are taking on and you need somebody who is going to have your best interests at heart So next time you're looking at thinking about planning a trip Don't just get on the internet and find the best deal out there Because it may not be the right cruise line or the right tour company or the right hotel for you your travel professional Will ask you a lot of questions. They want to get to know you. They want to um, Make sure that you're on the right ship that best suits you not just your budget, but also your personality We want to make sure that you're um, not on a part if you're not a party person we don't want to put you on a ship that parties 24 7 we want to put you on a ship that's going to have the type of entertainment that you're used to uh if you're going into shows and that sort of stuff if you like broadway shows we'll put you on a cruise ship that has the broadway shows so you have that connection with um so it makes it more enjoyable because you know that they're catering to your wants needs and budget um so we, we really do take, the professionals really do take care of their clients. They make sure what is in it, what is in it for the client, not what is in it for them as the, as the professional. Um, your client will turn around and, I'm sorry, the agent will turn around and just basically be an order taker. So literally, you'll just call up and say, I want to do this cruise on this date, da 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 and they'll go, okay, and they'll just go and book you. What type of cabin do you like and all that and just book you. A professional will turn around and say, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? And it could be something as simple as, why do you want to go on that particular sailing on that particular date? And I know uh, from my personal experience with talking with clients is that they've turned and said, oh, we saw that they had a really great deal on it. I said, well, do you mind if I ask you a few more questions to find out if that is going to be the right ship for you? Because I want to make sure that if you're going on a cruise for a first time, that you're going to get the best cruise experience possible. And a lot of times it's like, oh my gosh, that is... Um, 
you know, they, they never even thought of that. They didn't think that different ships have different personalities. And it's our job as a travel professional to make sure we get you on the right ship that best suits your personality and gives you the time that the, gives you a time to enjoy. Oh, jeepers, I can't talk tonight. And gives you <laughs> the type of things that you want to do. So before I completely screw up with my tongue trying to get things out and not talking properly, <laughs> um... I'm just going to leave it there. If you want to know, if you want to get hold of a cheat sheet, then please private message me and I will send you a cheat sheet that shows you the difference between a travel agent and a travel professional. What type of experience are you looking for <laughs> as, um, when you're going on a trip and is it best to use an agent or a professional? So if you want to find out what um, what's on the cheat sheet, send me a private message and I will be more than happy to send you a copy of the cheat sheet because obviously my tongue is not working tonight and so... <laughs> After all, I'm only human. <laughs> I've had a long day. <laughs> but anyway, have a super fantastic sparkling day. And um, crafty things behind me. Hang on. Hey, Kathy. Who else is on here? Let's see. Oh, we've got Lynn and Susan and, and Chuck and Charles. And who else? And Kathy and Carolyn. Hi, guys. Thank you for signing up. What crafty things? You're looking at my crochet blanket that I made that's right behind me here. Is that what you're looking at, Kathy? That keeps my knees warm at night. Um, let's see, crafty things that I see behind you. I see a mirror. Yeah, unless it's the crochet blanket. This one I made a few years ago. I absolutely love it. It keeps me nice and warm. Um, so anyway, if you would like to find out what the difference is between an agent and a consultant, please send me a private message and I'll be happy to send you a copy of the cheat sheet. In the bin turquoise. Oh no, that's the mail-in bu mail bucket. Yeah, I got the mail today. And it all went in there for me to go through tomorrow. <laughs> no, no paintbrushes in there. Paintbrushes are packed. But anyway, you guys have a super fantastic sparkling evening. And I look forward to talking with you tomorrow night.